Hello and welcome to this new series of network programming in Python. In this first video, you will learn about socket programming. Socket programming is a way of connection between two nodes or two sockets to communicate with each other. One socket listens to a particular port at an IP, while the other socket reaches out to the other to establish a connection. The server forms the listener socket while client reaches out to the server. Now, let me show you how we can make a simple socket in Python. And first, we need to import the socket module. We will also need to import the sys module or the system module. And next, we need to define a variable and for simplicity's sake, we will call this variable just s, which stands for socket. And inside the socket class, we have different parameters. The first parameter is socket.af underscore inet. And the second parameter is socket.soc underscore stream. Well, this was a lot. Let me dissect a little bit what we have here between our parentheses. The first parameter is af underscore inet which refers to the address family IPv4. And what is IPv4? Well, actually it stands for Internet Protocol version 4, and this is the dominant protocol of the Internet. And the second parameter we have is the SOC underscore stream, which means a connection-oriented TCP protocol. The TCP stands for Transmission Control Protocol, and this simply means a mode where a connection is established before any data is transferred. Please note that if any error occurs during the creation of a socket, then a socket.error is thrown, and we can only connect to a server by knowing its IP. Let me show you how we can get an IP for a website. Simply you will type ping and let's say we want to know the IP address of google.com or github.com. First, I will show you Google. This is the IP address of google.com. And if we'll do the same thing for GitHub, we get a different IP address. And if you want to get the IP address of a specific website using Python, you simply define a variable, we'll call that variable IP, which will be equal to socket dot a special method called get host by name. And inside here, we will pass in our website. And simply we'll print the IP. Now, let's open our terminal. And there it is. 140.82.121.4. Let's actually check between the GitHub's IP that we got here in Python and the one that we got in our terminal. It's the same, as expected. Okay, good. Now you know how to get the IP of a website in your terminal and using Python. All right, now let me delete those two lines and let's put our S variable inside a try except block in order to catch any errors as we said. So say try and we will indent the S properly then I want to print a message saying socket successfully created. Then we want to catch any errors. And the special error that we can catch here is socket.error. Then I will do except socket.error as ERR. Then I want to print Socket 
creation failed with error and I will get the error that returned by the system. Okay, so let's go ahead actually and try that. And there it is, socket successfully created. We didn't get any errors. Next, what I want to do is I want to put a default port for the socket. Let's say it's 80. Then I want to have another block of try except we will have potentially a kind of error called error. So let's go ahead and say try and a variable called host underscore IP will be equal to socket dot get host by name. And inside here, we will have our www.github.com. Except socket dot gay error. And socket dot gay error means that there's a problem with the DNS, the domain name service. It's the internet service that's responsible for translating the domain name such as github.com or google.com to an IP address. And I also want to return or print a statement we will say that there is an error resolving the host. And in this case, I want to exit the system. That's why we imported the sys module in the first place. Great. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to connect to the server. So we will use our s variable here. And we will connect. And inside here we will have a tuple of host IP, which is the variable that we have defined here, which is the socket.gethostname www.github.com to get the IP address. And the next variable is simply the port. And I want Python to print a statement for me telling me that the socket has successfully connected on port and we want to return the host IP, which is right here. Okay, so let's do that. Print and we'll use the F string. Socket has successfully connected to GitHub on port. And here we will pass our host underscore IP. Good. Let's actually try that. So we'll say Python main.py and there you go. Socket successfully created, then Socket has successfully connected to GitHub on port and we show the port which returned by our get host by name method. Okay, I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and I will see you in next video.